Hey guys, my name is Jason. I am with Sinesto US Sales and Business Development. I'd love to introduce you to our brand new S200. The S200 came about from a conversation that we had about how to create a different design machine that was a little bit more accessible in price point and to baristas stepping up to the machine. So I'd love to dive in and take, check out a little bit of the features that the S200 offers. So the S200 is a volumetric machine. It allows for two programs per group. You're going to be able to accept, access those programs by tapping on the actuator. You'll see a little one pop up. I can interrupt that by doing any other function around the group. I go into my program two, which you'll see, and I'll show you on this one as well. So one, interrupt, and then I'm two. Uh, each uh, coffee group allows for program pre-infusion, which we bring on all of our machines. So you've got two programs, pre-infusion and automatic shot timer. If you're used to seeing Sinesso, you would see the shot timers up top. We brought those down here. So everything that Sinesso has always been known for, again, is in the S200. Something new that we brought to the table is our purge button. So you've got these nice arcade style buttons. It's a nine bar purge. It's set at three and a half seconds when we ship it out to you. So this allows for me to finish up my shot, go grind, come back and my, my group is ready to go. Everything uh, that we bring on the other ones in terms of independent brew groups stay the same. So I've got the same handheld controller. I can get in here and I can set my group temperatures on each one of those. We went much different on the entire design. You can see that this machine sits a lower profile than our others, other machines. The design allows us to get a, a better interface, more accessible to our customers. Um, the other piece of accessibility is the new design on our Steam. So if you're used to Senesso, you know that we have the hubs on the side. This one we went with a swivel uh, on this paddle, and it allows me to open and close the Steam from both the outside, and I can take it and open and close from the inside. Same valve, I can variably adjust the Steam with that valve. I still have cool touch Steam on, so I'm not worried about burning my barista's hands or scalding milk on there. And then again, on all of our other equipment, as well as the S200, there's a mixing valve on the side of the machine, which allows us to set the temperature, and then I can program my water dispensing time. So you set a time that's equal to the volume that you'd like to dispense out, and you're good to go for bar flow. So the S200 is all about achieving a more accessible, easy interface machine, as well as a lower price point machine so that we can reach a larger, larger audience. So thanks again. Hope to see you soon. talk through some customizations available with the S200. So this machine as a stock standard comes in all black panels like you see here or in all white panels. So those are your two options available. We can also do custom work on this machine. So just like all of the rest of our machines, this machine can be powder coated with any RAL coloring. And with that, it is a one color only customization option and then all panels must be done with that. We also still have our standard four wood package options. So if you'd like to add any of those, we definitely still have the pieces here for the group tops and then the steam handles as well. So uh, yeah, thanks. Sinesso sales team here in Seattle, Washington, and this is the Sinesso S200 Espresso Machine. So this is Sinesso's newest machine. 
This model uh, represents a bit of a departure from the traditional design of the previous machines. And this retains all the same functionality and accessibility features on the inside that Senesso is known for. So we're pulling the same parts from the MVP and MVP Hydra portfolio, but we have a different form factor that is much more sleek and much more accommodating for your coffee bar. You'll notice that the overall height of the machine is much shorter. You can actually make this machine even shorter if you want by removing the optional skirt plates and allowing you to lower the machine further into your cabinet. This machine has some of the same features that you might be used to accessibility-wise, namely the panels that allow you to switch between two different programs. What's cool about this machine is that there are two separate volumetric programs that can be used with either a small hit left or right. This machine also features pretty unique options that are only found currently on the Senesso S200, namely the arcade style push buttons that allow you to do a nine bar perch. Especially after you pull a shot, it's really useful to be able to program via time as much time as you need to do a full rinse of your group head as you load your second shot. The machine also features a hot water tap that includes a cold water mixing valve. This means that when you're using the hot water tap, you can actually attenuate the temperature so that it's not too hot and not too cold. This is perfect if you're rinsing port filters, if you're preparing Americanos for, for here drinks, and also just make sure that the water that you're delivering is perfect for your customers. The drain tray is slightly redesigned. This profile uh, allows you to also adjust the height. You'll notice that there are three positions that you can adjust. So depending on your drink size, you have something a little bit shorter or perhaps even taller for your paper cups, you can adjust that for your preference. One of the coolest features that I really enjoy to use are these new steam actuator toggles. The steam valve itself has been rotated so that up here, we're actually using the cam itself of the steam valve and allowing you to have two different positions with which to engage the steam. Let me show you what that looks like. In the current position, you can come from right here and a simple pulling of the switch allows you to use the steam valve. And this is great, but also if you have a different option or barista who prefers a different style, you can simply rotate it. And now you have full use of the steam wand in this way. And this works for both of the steam wands. The cup tray has a heating mat that is useful for keeping all of your cups nice and toasty. And the machine has the same uh, wired handheld that you can use to program. So this machine features independent brew tanks that allow you to adjust the temperature with a PID controller. You can also go further into the program and the same volumetrics that you would use for the MVP Hydra, you can adjust the total flow count. And ultimately you can also enjoy uh, pre-infusion. So set the pre-infusion by time. And this allows you to customize for a couple of different recipes for your drinks. Um, but as well as using the features like auto back flush, uh, eco mode, as well as the uh, PID and the um, sort of error codes that you can use to diagnose with the help of our tech team here. So all in all, this is a really exciting new machine to add to the Senesa lineup. We really hope that you like it. And currently we're featuring this really sleek black powder coat, as well as the same machine with white powder coat finish. Uh, expect to see these machines shipping around the world in 2018 and uh, look forward to helping you with uh, whatever machines will fit best for your cafe. Thanks.
Sarah Palmer and I am the Global Sales Manager for Seneso here in Seattle, Washington. Today we're introducing the S200 to you. It is our latest model. We introduced this machine in April of this year. It's meant to be an entry-level model machine for us with the same quality and reliability as everything else that we do. So, on this machine we have a two-program volumetric setting. So a tap to the left is going to start your programming number one. All of that can be set via the handheld controller, just like any of our other machines. Anything will stop the shot, so tapping to the left again, tapping to the right, or hitting the purge button will stop that shot from going. A tap to the right will run your program too, also preset in the handheld controller, and then again, anything will stop the shot. So, both programs, or both machines and group heads can run off of um, the same program one, program two, or you can set them up to operate differently if you'd like to have up to four different programs on this machine. We've added a purge button to this machine, so each of these are preset, and that is an adjustable time setting to a nine bar purge. So you can go ahead and purge in between your shots. We also have the same hot water taps we have on the rest of our models as well, which can also be adjusted. And then here on the side, we actually have a three-level drain tray. So you can definitely move it around and see what works best for your cafe. This machine is also kind of a fun one to drop into the counter. So the electrical box is in the back of the machine. So you're able to sink it into the counter a little bit lower as well if that's something you're interested in doing. And this machine as well also comes with our two-year parts warranty. Still has the same boilers, the same internal pieces as an MVP or an MVP Hydro would. So it's definitely still going to be a workhorse, something that you can count on in your cafes. So I'll talk you through the handheld controller a little bit. All right guys, so here's our temperature overview. This is going to be the screen you first see when walking up to the handheld controller. As you can see, it's giving us our brew group one temperature and our brew group two temperature, as well as our steam tank temperature. So going down, it'll give you again your set points for your brew temperatures. So right here to make an adjustment, all you need to do is click. You can then make any adjustment that you need to do. There's also Celsius um, options in your second level menu as well. So here we are on universal programs. So this right here is going to tell you that your left programs on both group head one and two is going to be operating with a six second pre-infusion and the water flow count is at 389. Over here on the right, it'll give you specs for that as well. Um, in the second level menu, which we'll go to in a second, you'll be able to see how you can change that program programming and have them operate individually. So here is where you can set your set point for your steam tank temperature. Um, hot water tap, again, select and adjust if you would like to. Purge button time is set to three seconds, and again, that is an adjustable number for you. So auto back flush is, again, a feature on this machine, just like every machine that we have really ensuring your baristas are able to make sure the machine is getting cleaned and able to multitask while they're doing so. So if we go out to that main screen again, I'm gonna to go to the second level menu. Right here it says program mode universal. If I wanna make that change, I'll just select individual. Go back to the regular screen and now as we scroll through, you'll see the temperature overview again, your brew temperatures, and right now it's going to tell you group one programs, left, right, and then group two programs, left and right. So again, that'll allow you the option of four different programs. We'd love to hear your feedback, excited about getting the S200 into your markets. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at info, I-N-F-O, at Sineso, S-Y-N-E-S-S-O, dot -S -S com.